Okay, City of Good Neighbors, do you have a U-Haul available? Yeah, a Lockport military mother is hoping to continue with her holiday mission, but she needs your help delivering the comforts of home to our brave servicemen and women. Here's 7 Eyewitness News reporter Justin Moore with ways you can get involved. Toothbrushes, stocking after stocking toothbrushes. after stocking you know stuffed Please with goodies. Gum, mint, nuts. Um, as I said, we send uh, CDs to them. They're all for the brave men and women serving our country. Everybody takes such pride in making them. For the past eight years, Teresa Mena has gathered donations with the help of volunteers to ship thousands of stockings and Santa hats to military bases overseas. It all started after a holiday phone call with her daughter who was stationed in Iraq. She asked me for a particular candy, something I knew she didn't really care for, and she asked me to send them to her and I asked her why. And she said it was for somebody who didn't get any mail or packages. Oh, the Lockport military yeah. mom quickly found out oh, there are a it. lot of soldiers overseas with no one know, back home to send them anything. Made me cry. Mana works out of her church in Lockport to stuff those stockings. She has spent thousands of dollars to ship them over the years. We get donations, but the donations never cover the shipping expenses, they never have. I've had to put it on visas, taken out loans. This year is different. The military is willing to put 5,000 stockings on ships and take them to seven different countries if she can get them to the Navy base in Norfolk, Virginia. That's we have to problem. get them to Virginia by November 14th is the deadline. The problem is Mena needs a large truck, like a U-Haul, to get them there. She's now praying someone will find it in their heart to help her bring joy to the men and women who keep us all safe. Just anything to put a smile on someone's face. Let them know we're here, we're thinking of them, and we care. In Lockport, Justin Moore, 7 Eyewitness News.